up? What do you do? I'm Rihanna, and this is my first YouTube video. I'm about to make this video real quick before I get ready to head off to work. But this topic of this video is, so you want to be a stripper, so you're thinking about becoming a stripper, or, hey, you might already be a stripper, and you're not making as much money as you would like to be making. This video is just, like, a few tips to help you. I'm not going to try to make it that long. I'm going to, like, let y'all leave comments under the video if y'all want me to keep talking about this dancer life. Because I will. I don't have a problem. But let's get right into it. The first thing I want to say is that I am not condoning being a dancer. Like, just because I'm making this video, I'm not promoting it. This is not something that I'm saying, hey, you got a job, go quit your job because you can go get rich tonight. You need to make that decision based off of you. Nobody else, not me, not any other video on YouTube, not your friend advice, no God advice, like, Make that decision based off of you. When you decide that you want to be a dancer, let that be because that's what you decided. So, yeah. The second thing that I wanted to get into is something that I feel like is really, really important. For everybody that's trying to be a dancer or people that's already a dancer, in order to do this, you have to have company. It don't matter if you're not the best looking thing. It don't matter if you don't have the best looking body. Like That does not matter. What matters is your company. Because trust me, if you have good confidence, you can dance right next to the prettiest girl in the club and still be making money with her because guess what? You have good confidence. If you don't got confidence, how can you expect to get naked in front of people if you don't have confidence? You have to be, you don't got to have a big head, but you just need to know, like, <laughs> I'm going to make some money. Like, don't be going in there scared. Like, you can't be scared. What is you scared for? You knew what you signed up for. You knew you was finna get naked when you thought about it or you just thought you was just finna go in here and just... <laughs> no, baby. You get naked. The majority of these clubs, you're getting naked. Um, For people that got, like, stretch marks and stuff or people that's had kids and stuff like that or people that's just... You know, like, yo, you just feel like your body's too little or you just might feel like you got too much weight. When I tell y'all, it's different types of girls in the strip clubs. It's some girls who got stress marks. It's some girls who don't. It's some girls who got C-sections. It's some girls who don't. You have small girls. You have big girls. Big booty girls, little booty girls. And guess what? Everybody keeping up with each other if you have company. Let's make that be known. You do have to have company. The third thing I want to say is how to go about becoming a stripper. So, but depending on what state you're in, just go to a local club. Like, first, I suggest you go in there as a customer. Like, go in there, catch the vibe of the club, see if that club is, like, a place that you will be interested in working. Like, if, if you will be comfortable with the atmosphere. Because you have different types of clubs. You have a white club. You have a black club. Ratchet clubs. Like, <laughs> you got to find out which club is best for you. But I advise that you go in there as a customer first to, like, feel a vibe or whatever. And then you go in and ask the body. So, after you feel the vibe out, you're going to go in. First of all, when you go in, please make sure you look presentable. Like, if you don't even wear makeup, throw on a little lip gloss, lip liner. A little highlight, do something to your hair. Don't come up in there looking like you just roll up out of bed because that's what some of y'all been doing. And we've been talking about y'all when y'all be leaving out the dressing room because how you gonna come up here looking this way? What you gonna look like when it's time for you to get on the floor to go shake some booty? You gonna be looking like that? No, like that's not acceptable. But anyways, when you go in there, make sure you looking presentable. Some people, um, like when you first started off, like when I first started off dancing, my first dance outfit was a Victoria's Secret peak, Victoria's Secret bra and some panties, like, and I still went in there and I made my money. But then when I got some money, I leveled up, like I invested in my clothes, in my hair, in my nails, like stuff like that. But you're a beginner, so it's just like, unless you got like a regular job and you got money to spend on it. Then I guess, you know, you got a little advantage. But for all the girls that don't have all that going on, just make sure you go in there looking presentable. Don't go in there wearing no skank looking stuff, no hoochie mama looking stuff. Like, 
No, just because you're dancing don't mean that they want you coming at us like that. No, because at the end of the day, you're normal people. This is just a job. Like, you're doing a job. They still want to make sure, like, can we hire her? Like, is she going to be in drama? Is she going to be a good employee? That's what they looking for. And please, please, nine times out of ten, please be prepared to get naked. What are they going to do? They're going to tell you lift your shirt up, pull your pants down. They're going to look at you from the front. They're going to tell you look. They're going to tell you turn around. They're going to look at you from the back. That's going to be it. I think they do that because they're just trying to make sure that you're not. I don't know. I really don't know why they do that. But I think they just trying to see if they want you to work in their club. Trying to see, I don't know, do you fit. But nine times out of ten, if you're looking presentable, they're going to hire you. Depending on what club you go to. Don't think you're going to go to a, a banging club and this is your first time dancing and you don't look like you've been dancing for a while. I mean, you might get lucky and they might hire you, but for your first club, I advise that you start off like at a small club. And then once you're in that small club, probably working there for like a few weeks, and you see that you got a hang of it, and you invest in yourself, then go try a big club. Because then I feel like you will be better with them trying to hire you. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to talk about saving. So, you done got hired or whatever, and you started making money. This is where I see a lot of people go wrong. People still do this to this day. I still do this sometimes, but not as much because I have a son, baby, and I'm not about to be spending my money on no stupid stuff because who? He stay me to nothing. She stay me to, you know, ma'am, no ham, no turkey. We're not doing that. But what I want to say is make sure you save, 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 save. Make sure you're saving your money. First of all, when you're thinking about becoming a stripper, you need to figure out what you're doing it for. If you're just trying to go be a stripper because you want to go get some clothes or you just need some new shoes or you want to, like, just stuff that, that I don't know, like, I'll, just materialistic stuff that, you, that can wait. Like, I feel like if you're thinking about becoming a stripper, in your mind, you need to be like, like, I'm saving money because I'm trying to go get a house or I'm trying to go get a car or I'm trying to save money so I can better myself, invest in myself, go start a business or have money for my family. Like, don't be trying to become a stripper and you don't know what you want to do with your life because guess what? You will get stuck in this stripper life. It's very easy to get stuck. Like, just being a stripper, not having nothing else to fall up on. Like, you just waking up, going to work. Make your money go to sleep, waking up, repeat it. No, like, have a goal. I say start off with a goal because once you have a goal, like, you're not going to get distracted. Like, me, right now, I have a goal. Like, I went to school for criminal justice. I graduated last year in December 2018. Currently, right now, I have a goal. Like, yes, I'm a stripper right now, but I'm trying to use this to help me, to, to help me become better. Like, this needs to be... A platform to help me get more money because at the end of the day your body is like you need to consider like your body as like an insurance policy basically like you don't know how much you don't know how long you're gonna be able to keep dancing you don't know how anything could happen like you can fall down the stairs I don't want that to happen to nobody damn sure not me goddamn but you see what I'm saying like anything can happen so you have to make sure you're saving your money and making sure that you're using that money to go invest in something else. What I currently use my money to invest in, I sell hair. I just now started selling hair, and I feel like that's a very good investment because guess what? I work in a club. A lot of girls need their hair done, even outside of the club. A lot of people need their hair done. People is going to spend a whole bunch of money on getting their hair done. So guess what? I got the bundles. You got the money. I got the bundles. Hello. I'm investing in my money. But just not even that. Like, I'm making sure that I save my money. Like, my son, he's one. He has his own bank account. Like, every week, I try to put at least $20 in his bank account. Every week. I don't care if I'm down to my last $20. Guess what? I'm going to go put $20 in his account because when he get older, I'm going to make sure that while I was dancing, I did something useful with my money. Just not even buying him stuff in a moment, but I use this money to help him set up for the future. So make sure y'all is saving y'all money. Another thing that I'm doing right now to help me save my money.
my money is that I have a lot of people start this. So if y'all see pictures on Instagram or videos or something, I started this. Brie Couture, that's my Instagram name. But anyways, I'm doing a 30 day 10K challenge. Basically, I'm working every day. Like some clubs, the clubs that I work at, they're not open on Sundays. Unless I go out of town, then they're open on Sundays. But mainly I'm working Monday through Saturday. I'm working at night because I, I can't do day shifts. Like, day shifts is not for me. I'm not a day shift type of girl. But basically, I'm trying to say 10K in 30 days. I forgot the math, but that's just like 300 and it's around like 300 plus a day. Some people might be like, oh, that's